We're here on the Bowling Creek Trail today because we just went through a historic flood. But we knew that this section, uh, basically from Martin Luther King to Hempstead Park, would have to withstand multiple floods. So we designed the trail to withstand that. In North Carolina, most trails are built out of asphalt. It's cheaper. You basically come in with a machine, you lay it down, but it has one major disadvantage. It's lighter, it has air bubbles in it. I guarantee you if this trail had been built from asphalt, most of it would be somewhere between here and Jordan Lake. We just generally try to build from, with concrete. If we have the money, it lasts longer, it'll require less maintenance. And one of the other things we do is that we build this trail with turned down edges. So instead of just a flat layer of concrete like you have on most sidewalks, it's actually turned down. So floodwaters can't get underneath it and uh, compromise the integrity of the path. We lost one small uh, segmented uh, retaining wall, although it was very easy to repair and build back. But that wall had been sized for Hurricane Fran. And then along comes Florence, which is actually much higher. The part uh, where we had damage that was more serious was east of Martin Luther King. And that was built back in the 90s with asphalt. We did lose about a 50 or 60 foot section of that. We'll go back probably in the spring and replace that with more concrete. As we, you know, we look at the artwork at the tunnel, we knew we needed to protect that artwork. The thought wasn't from floodwaters, it was from um, vandalism. And so we had a special, fairly expensive coating put on that artwork, but it also did an amazing job uh, protecting it from the floodwaters. 